What up, homies? Cody back again with another video. Um, so, so far we've, we've been able to require some files from Node and then uh, make your own files and require them. Use their functions, you know, all that fancy stuff. But let's say you want to be a gangster, right? You know, the real homie G of these streets, okay? Alright, so now, what we gotta do, we're gonna be using Node Package Manager. At least that's what it used to be called, but you know. Yeah, anyway, so it's called NPM, and yeah, what it is, is like a bunch of third-party um, modules that we've been using, basically, and yeah, people upload them to this website, and we could use them in our own things for free, yep. So some very famous ones is Lodash, you know, Express, for making dynamic websites that I use on one of my websites, um, there's a whole bunch of crap you'll find out, and it's really, really, really useful. So you can do less work in your programming projects. So, anyway, let's get started. So, you already have NPM installed if you have Node, I believe. <laughs> and um, if you don't, then yeah, I don't, yeah, okay. Good luck with that. Um, so, let's just check the version. NPM dash dash V. Okay, 3.7.10, that's pretty good, pretty good. Now, so what we need to do is make our own npm project. So do npm init, n-i-n-i-t, boom. Okay, now you gotta give it a name and all that, so we'll name it, uh, it's just gonna default to the name of your folder, so if you wanna rename it, just type in whatever you want. So we'll do node-tutorial, version one, description, I'm cool, uh, entry point, yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Author Illuminati Productions boy. I'll just throw the boy on the end right there. And then license, and then type yes. Then you're good to go. So what that did, it generated a package dot JSON, which is a array of details. So this is an object with your stuff stuffs. And um, so it's basically what you just had to do in the console right there, so. You can really just edit that if you want to. So anyway, let's get started. So, so we're going to be using Lodash. It's a package we just kind of looked at. I didn't really explain it, but now I am. Okay. So to use Lodash, you got to go to npm.js.com. Okay. Then you could find all the packages you want just by typing it in. But I'm going to show you one first, which is Lodash. And I just said that like five times now. So. Kill yourself, Paxton. Um, so to install Lodash, we're gonna we gotta look at the name. It's called Lodash, so remember that. Then we'll go back to our console, npm install Lodash dash dash save. Enter. And then it's gonna install. As it's magic. It'll only take what? Oh, I think it's done already. Okay, cool. So it generated a new folder called node underscore modules, which is all your thingy machigies. And look, Lodash has all these functions in here. You know, it's pretty fancy. So it's basically just to make our life easier, okay? So we're go we're gonna go over like one or two. Um so first I'm sure you guessed correctly, you gotta require it if you wanna use it. So const um, lodash, or no, no, no. It's common to use this when using lodash, so we'll use that. Underscore equals require lodash. This is actually my first time using lodash. You know, that's just how savage I am. Um, so, now we can use it. So, let's go to the library so we can look at what functions we can use. And where do we find this crap? Documentation. Um, let's find one that we want. Okay, okay, we're back and we're live. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now you want to go down and find a function that you might want to use. And I found a little math section here. You know, because I'm obviously a math genius, of course, you know. So click one that you want. I found the mean one. So mean means average, because I totally didn't have to ask Paxton what that means. I just, you know, looked it up. 
with my brain cells, you know, it's like, I have a library in my, anyway, guys, anyways, that'll be a whole nother video. Um, so what you gotta do, go back here, type your underscore, then we're gonna use a lot, utilize it, we'll type in mean, no, not memes, mean, then we'll pass an argument, we need to pass in a, you know, a function, and, uh, no, 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 yeah, 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 no, 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 Pass in an array, and inside that array, we're going to put in some numbers. Boop, 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 boop. Nope, that's not, no. And now it's going to find the average of these numbers, okay? Var Bob, let's set it to a variable, so Bob equals the mean of that. And then we'll console.log Bob. Okay, so let's start our thingy majiggy. No, dab just. Um, right, let's make this easier so we know which one's which. So let's say average space plus Bob. So our average is 7.966666666667. Okay, so that's our average. And um, yeah, so those are my calculations. Um, so that's an example of how you want to use a NPM module. You can find a documentation or it'll just tell you here usually sometimes. But not all of them. This one you had to go to the library and all that stuff. So let's find some other ones we could look at. Um, let's try the is string thingy maji. So <laughs> we'll do an if statement. Um, if um, and then we'll have so it'll return true if it's a string, right? So we'll do is string uh, Bob. So Bob is a string, of course. So if Bob's a string, we're going to say console, console.log Bob. Okay. And Bob is definitely a string. So let's get rid of this. We don't need this crap right now. So we'll just comment it out. Control slash. So let's mess around a little bit. Let's do Bob like a million times. Not really, but I'm too lazy to make a for loop or any loop, so I'll just do this. Okay, we'll run it again. And there you go, that's all your Bobs. So yeah, guys, you get the point. You can make a npm little project by doing npm init. And then you can access the modules by doing npm install module name, and then dash dash save. So that's that, and you can check out the documentation, use everything, so, you know, yep. Or you can just look at each one, but not exactly that descriptive, you know. But let's say we're like really, really, really stupid and accidentally delete this file, the node modules file. But oh no, it's gone. Oh no. All you gotta do is npm install. And it's going to look at your package.json and install everything that's dependent on your project. So, yep, I hope that all made sense. I hope you enjoy. If you have any comments, leave a... <laughs> if you have any uh, questions, leave a comment. And if you need help, let me know. And if pizza sucks, leave a like. Okay, bye-bye. Peace. Jet bought a coupe in the interior, ostrich. Ostrich, 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 yeah. Walk in the bank, got a meal to deposit. $100,000 on the net fee, flat fee. $100,000 on the walk through check, please. I made the sauce and they ran with the recipe. Sauce. Ran with the recipe. Ran. All of my bitches treat me like Bill Bellamy. Player. Treat me like Bill Bellamy. Player. I'm on the couch and I'm posted like LMB. LMB, girl. Posted like LMB. Big dog pull up in the quick frog. Big